If one Rhode Island lawmaker has his way, the breakdown lane on the highway wouldn't be just for pulling over. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us in studio with more on the push to let you use the lane for driving under certain circumstances. New at 530. Well, Kelly, this would not be a blanket permit for folks to go speeding down breakdown lanes whenever they want, but it would allow the DOT to decide on specific times and places for those lanes to be used. The breakdown lane wouldn't just be for stopping anymore under a new bill submitted by State Representative Robert Jackard. The Cranston Democrat says his proposal to allow the use of the outermost lanes during heavy traffic could come in handy for a pesky problem Rhode Islanders and tourists alike know all too well. Beach traffic. Jackard says the breakdown lane plan could also help alleviate congestion in Providence. On Route 10, uh, it tends to back up before the downtown exit. Many people are either going to take the downtown exit or the Dean Street exit, and really there's no need for them to be sitting in traffic waiting to get through. Jackard submitted the same bill last year and says it faced no opposition but stalled in committee. This year, he's hoping for the green light. Ultimately, the plan would enable the Department of Transportation to determine when breakdown lanes could be used. The legislature doesn't uh, you know, determine where this should be done. They leave it up to the experts at the DOT. He says the bill is based on the same law they have in Massachusetts, where he says drivers know how to safely navigate the lanes, usually reserved for stopped cars. People are, are automatically cautious on the roads now, and uh, I don't think it would necessarily be a problem. And we did reach out to the DOT and Rhode Island State Police. Neither of them had a comment on this proposal at this time. Jackard's bill is now before the House Finance Committee, which has not scheduled a hearing on it just yet. Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.